Margaret's late. Yeah, well, she probably had some other expecting mothers to visit. You know, I've never done this before. I mean, I've never found out the sex of the baby before the baby's been born. Really? Not even with Bill? Oh, no. We didn't have the technology back then. I mean, well, maybe we did, but we didn't find out. I mean, we didn't know. To think there was actually a time when the baby had to be born first. Listen, honey, hmm. what do you want? I mean, really want a boy or, or a girl? I'll love either one just as much. Oh, come on. I mean, I, I've heard and I believe that men really have this primal thing where they want a boy so that they can take the little boy fishing or, or, or teach him how to play ball or, you know. Oh, well, uh, well, why can't a girl play baseball or go fishing or... <laughs> ooh. Ooh. Hey. Well, if that's a she, she has a mean kick. Ooh. Is she kicking you? <laughs> well, maybe we'll have to let her try out for football. <laughs> It would really be okay if the baby were a girl. Let me tell you something. All I want is a happy, healthy baby. Period. That's all I want. And that's what you're gonna get. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Stay tuned to this station. Mm. Is that the baby? Yes, it is. Is the baby all right? Oh, yes, everything looks fine. <sighs> well, come on, don't keep us in suspense. <laughs> all right, what is it you wanted to know? Margaret, come on. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Reardon, meet your daughter. <laughs> it's a girl. <laughs> it's a girl. <laughs> Thank you, Margaret. Thank you. <laughs> all I did was take the picture. <sighs> now, if you three will excuse me, I'm going to go check on your other test results. We're having a girl. Yeah. Are those tears I see in your eyes? Oh, come on, tough guys don't cry. Oh, yeah, sometimes tough guys do. Sometimes tough girls do. You know, I, I, I haven't let myself really think about this baby. It was just sort of a vague image, and now it's just so real. I know. It's what I wanted for both of us, but so much for you. Oh, but I'll let you down. Oh, you're not going to let me down. Well, I don't know. <laughs> you're not. His father stuff's pretty foreign. Oh, him. don't be silly. She's going to love you. She's going to worship the ground you walk upon. Hey, we never settled something. What? A name. We, we've, we've thought of every name we could come up with. We did. Remember, we said if it was a girl, we thought Tess. Oh, no. Tess has been done. Okay. <laughs> what do you want? Say it. Whatever you want. Well, I don't know. What's a good name for a quarterback? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know about the quarterback, but there is a name I really like. I mentioned it. It was my favorite, remember? I think I know which one you're talking about. Well, what do you think? I think you should mean a lot to both of us, and I think it's a great idea. Do you really? Yeah. Hi, Maureen. Hi, Maureen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she kicked. Gosh. Is, that, is that a yes kick or a no kick? That's a big, big, big yes kick. Hey. We're hey, having what? a girl. <laughs> we are. Hey, <laughs> daughter. Daddy. Hey, mama. <laughs> you, you look like a good daddy to oh, me. Mm. <laughs> oh. A father. Yep. And you're going to be the best in the whole world. I mean, I can't believe this. Just a few minutes ago, it was just like... And now it's like really, really real. She is really real. I love you. And I love our baby. I love you, Maureen. We're really going to do this, aren't we? Yep. We're really, really, really going to do this. <laughs> You know what? You love me too? No. Well, yes. <laughs> I love you too. But I want to go call Bill, okay? I want to leave a message for him at school if I can't get a hold of him. Well, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll just be right here. You're right. a bit off the ground, but I'll be here waiting for you when you get back. <laughs> a little girl. A little girl. A little baby girl who looks just like Vanessa. <laughs> wow, I mean... 
When you first open your eyes and look at me, you are going to have me wrapped around your little finger for the rest of my life. I'm going to build you doll houses and, 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 and uh, uh, tree houses. I'm going to buy you a pony. And I'll walk you to school at your first day of kindergarten. And if you start crying, I may even let you come home. Of course, your mother won't like it very much, but she'll get over it. What am I talking about? I don't even... I don't even know what it's like to be a dad. How am I going to be a dad? I should be at school or taking classes or something to know how to do this right. Maureen. Maureen Reardon. Maureen Chamberlain Reardon. That sounds pretty... That sounds pretty good. Kind of important. Maybe you'll be a, a doctor or a concert pianist or... Um, you know what? I don't care what you are. As long as you're happy and healthy and you know you love, that's the most important thing. You know, parents put too much emphasis on that kind of stuff, you know, about what their kids are going to be. And I don't care if you're a, a, a famous writer or a, a checkout clerk at a, at a grocery store. As long as you're happy and, and you're doing what you want to do, that's, that's the most important thing. That's all that, that really matters. And hopefully I can, I can teach you a little bit about what I've learned over the years and in life and keep you from making some of the same mistakes I've made. Yeah. The main thing is, is you're happy and you're healthy. You know, I... I can't believe I'm talking to this baby. You and your mother are going to be the most important things in my life. You and your mama are going to be my life. <laughs> well, I was just, uh... I just what? You know. <laughs> you think I'm crazy, don't you? I always knew that, but, uh... <sighs> no, actually what I think is it. <laughs> You're the most wonderful man in the world. But Maureen is really lucky to have you as her daddy. Well, I hope so. I know so. You know, I think I'll take out an ad. Why? To tell everybody. <laughs> you don't have to do Just pick up the phone. Oh. What? I want to be the person to tell Dinah, okay? Yeah, sure, whatever you want. Because I don't want her hearing secondhand about this, about her sister, the same way she heard about Cassie moving into the old house secondhand, all right? Okay, well, we'll call her as, as soon as we get home. Did you get through to Bill? Oh, no, I didn't think I could, but I left a message and for him to call as soon as he can. Okay. <sighs> what? What? What are you thinking? I was just thinking about, um, oh, you know, the things that mothers do with their girls. You know, they, they shop for silly little dresses with them, and they bake little cookies for the dolls' tea parties and all those things. All the things that you didn't get to do with Dinah. Well, Dinah didn't get to do with me, and that's the way she is. I... I mean, that's why she's the way she is, because every time she gets hurt, she remembers that I let her go, and that's just like a... Well, you understand. Yeah, I, I, I understand, but I also understand that Dinah's got to quit blaming her childhood for the, for the way that she acts, and you've got to stop blaming yourself for something that you had to do at the time. And you've more than made up for it. Well, uh, thanks for saying that, but I don't think you can ever make up for something like that. You can never redeem it, and, um... Dinah's pretty out of control right now. But whatever she does, I will forgive her, because if I don't, I'll never forgive myself. Have you got everything? Oh, yeah. More than I ever hoped for. Can't find the pocket to this. I've <laughs> got the results of those tests. Margaret, oh. we named the baby already. Yeah. What do you think about Maureen? <laughs> From Marine Bauer. Yeah. 
that's lovely. I, Ed will be very touched. And Michelle. And I've already got the crib made, so tonight when I get home, I thought that maybe I could carve her initials in on... Honey. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Margaret, what is it? Vanessa, have you felt any new symptoms lately? Anything unusual? No. No. Well, how has your appetite been? Uh, fine. What are, you, what are you trying to say? Margaret, is there something wrong with the baby? No, there's nothing wrong with the baby. We just, we, you just said the baby's fine, right? The baby is fine. Well, as well, far as we can tell, you have a perfectly healthy little baby girl. Well, then what's the problem? It's Vanessa. I'm sorry, but the tests confirm what we were afraid of when you first became pregnant. You're suffering from a recurrence of your disease. No, this can't be. When the first tests suggested this, I went to Michael Burke. I mean, he is the one who is most familiar with your situation. Yes, Michael knows as much as anybody about this disease. I believe he and Rick did warn you early on. You know that the stress and the hormonal changes of pregnancy could trigger a recurrence. But the odds were with us. This is not supposed to happen. I know. That's why I ordered the second set of tests this morning, just to make sure there was absolutely no mistake. Well, well you're feeling fine, right? You, you feel good, right? I mean, I, everything's fine. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Well, I mean, <laughs> Vanessa's feeling fine. The baby, everything's fine with the baby, so there's got to be something wrong with your test. No. No. Look, I know this is devastating news, but we have to deal with it. There's still one option, Vanessa, to spare you the possibility of this disease progressing. Wait a minute, are you, are you, are you suggesting that we terminate this pregnancy? That's not an option. I'm not going to terminate the pregnancy. I know you're very far along, and I wouldn't suggest it, except in a situation of life and it's death. It's not an option. All right, all right you're, you're telling me that Michael said that if we continue this pregnancy, that the disease will progress, and Vanessa Michael could... feels that terminating the pregnancy is Vanessa's only chance to arrest its progress. Okay, all right, well, what, what if what if we uh, induce labor? What if Vanessa gets a C-section? I mean, premature babies make it all the time, and in this way, maybe Vanessa and the baby would have a chance, right? Could we do something like that? Yes, but there are no guarantees. I suppose it could work. Look, this is obviously something you two have to discuss. We'll set up an appointment, and then we'll talk after you've had a chance to absorb it. I'm terribly sorry. Matt. Matt. Take me home. 